Hey everyone, welcome to Zine 101. In this tutorial, we will set up Stripe with Leaky Paywall. All right, let's jump right into this. The first thing that I am going to focus on is Leaky Paywall settings and uh, navigating over to payments. I am going to go ahead and set this to test mode. It's always a good idea to test out uh, your connection with Stripe before going live with it. Um, and I am going to enable Stripe. All right, I already got that going. If you need something uh, beyond Stripe uh, and PayPal, uh, so Stripe and PayPal are supported out of the box with Leaky Paywall, but if you need more um, payments, uh, options, different gateways. You can check out our, our WooCommerce integration and this will essentially open up uh, uh, the option to use different payment gateways. All right, so you can check that out there. The first item I'm going to focus on here is the test publishable key and the test secret key. All right, so I'm going to navigate over to Stripe. I've got my publishable key right here, so I'm just going to copy that. This is under um, Developers and the API Keys, and I've also got Viewing Test Data selected. All right. So make sure that your settings look the same. So I've got that test. All right. So let's reveal this one. I'm gonna copy that one and paste that in. So moving along here, we have the Stripe webhook URL. This is a super important step when it comes to setting up Leaky Paywall. This allows Stripe and Leaky Paywall to communicate uh, and give uh, users access uh, when they pay or no access when they don't pay. So let's copy this. Go ahead and copy this, and we're gonna head over to uh, developers and webhooks. And again, we're, we're in test mode here, so I'm gonna add an endpoint, all right? So I'm gonna paste in our URL, our endpoint, and under events to send, um, we want this to receive all events, all right? So I'm just gonna select it down here and you'll notice it automatically imports everything here. All right, so I'm gonna add endpoint. All right, and we should be all set. So if I go back, I'm just gonna select this box here. You don't have to select this, but I like to select it just lets me know that I completed the setup properly. All right, so you can also enable Apple Pay. I'm gonna leave this turned off for now. Uh, moving on down to currency options. We've got all kinds of different currencies in here. I'm going to leave this set to United States dollar. Um, we have currency position, so how this should look. I'm gonna leave that alone. We have the thousand, the decimal separator, and the number of decibels. So I'm just gonna leave those settings as is, depending on your currency, perhaps you'll, you'll change this around. Let's go ahead and save this. All right, so you notice I haven't yet set up the live publishable key or the live secret key. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna focus on a test uh, scenario, okay? And I am going to go over to our subscriptions. And in the last video, if you watched this, uh, the first video, uh, we made this free. I'm gonna set this to $5. All right. And I'm gonna save this up. All right, so let's log out. And what I wanna do now is try to hit the paywall all right, I think I have this set to three for free. I don't know which article, there we go. Okay, so we've hit the paywall. I'm gonna subscribe. All right, I'm just gonna 
put in a test and that's in one. one. Alright, I'm gonna hit next. Alright, so you can see that we're in test mode and Stripe has some test credit cards that you can use here. Um, I'm going to use the Visa card and as long as you set this to any time in the future uh, it should work just fine. Alright, so let's click subscribe and confirmation. Let's go check out Stripe and make sure our payment, our, our test data came through. All right, so I see it right here. Digital access, Zine 101, and everything looks good. Once you've confirmed that your API keys, uh, your test keys actually work, and you're seeing that connection within Stripe, uh, that would be a good time to go ahead and create your live keys. All right, and to do that, essentially you're turning off the viewing test data and uh, you're doing exactly what we just did. You're just doing it in live mode. All right, that does it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.